Uh, good evening again, subscribers and viewers. Another interview with the unknown lawyer. An un cartel case. The first interview was to say why cartel will not get released from custody and come to road. So he's gonna give us a little bit I, more highlight. I, I highlight on why on cartel case why he cannot and he will not be free. Freed or pardoned uh, by the part state. Okay, go ahead. Alright. The system has it that the crime was committed. People have it that there was no body shown. We're judging it from a missing person's report. And from a missing person's report, you have to bear in mind, a lady went before the Supreme Court giving a statement that Clive Lizard Williams raped her off to create a diversion in the system. That matter was thrown out by the Supreme Court judge when it went to court. However, she was not charged for submitting a fraudulent statement to the Crown. Why? Because they know that this is what will create a diversion based on the time. So it goes back to time that is a factor. And a presentation done by the High Court and the lawyers. Cartel will not be free and cannot be free. We have one foot at the Supreme Court and we have one foot at a Caribbean court. Thirdly, 12 days of cross-examination, the eyewitness told Mr. Tavares that for 12 days you're up here, all you do is suggest to me, they suggest to me, were you there? This is a high court matter and a high profile case. I'll tell you as Jamaicans and to the world that it is the longest murder trial in the history of court system. As Capitoros matter never takes so long. And no other murder matter. O.J. Simpson matter wasn't as long as Cartel's matter. So because it accumulates so much time and so much energy, a lot of people would not be following the system. And to see that there was evidence that was not presented to the juries. There was evidence that a lot of people would have wondered why the court would have lay back on these telephone and graphics that images of people being slaughtered like animal. These were not shown because it would have traumatized most of his subscribers and viewers at the time. So the court would have withheld this information. And Fourthly, presenting a murder case and a trial, your throne speech should tell you just like reading a book. You look through the cotyledon or the introduction of the book. It tells you what the title and everything, how much story, how long is what. This was not done by the lawyer representing Mr. Cartel. The lawyer representing Cartel didn't make 20% effort out of 100 to properly represent his client because he did not have what it takes and the case was too high for him. The judge was going to lock up Mr. Tavares. When he tell the judge, he said his client was given the telephone by the police to make call and send texts. He was showing prejudice to the judge. The judge, clever, and I asked him, would all of this, Mr. Tavares, prejudice the case? And he said no, but yet he was pointing prejudice to the case, the judge. If he had said yes, the judge would have locked him up and the matter would have decided there. He would get a full-blown sentence and he would away with us. Say so it was only a strategy. The lawyers know that based on the evidence presented in the court, they had nothing to do but wait and anticipate because they know that when they go to the Supreme Court, only a mistrial petition they could have made to come back down here. Now that the matter will start over, it's a whole heap of waste of time. 
It's a whole heap of bureaucracy and cynicism that did not store up in the first trial. And we need the DPP to really enlighten you. Because if she carry this man as a crown witness, it goes to say how oh, sarcastic and how oh, evil, wicked we think that a man could have done something in a group. Cartel matter, long and short, will formulate what is called the Anti Gang Legislation Act, which is no in effect so anything is done by gang can be easily dealt with better without the anti-gang legislation act we were bundling like with a dog bite act when they in effect in the 80s look how much people dog kill and dog bite up all pitney all woman and kill them without the dog bite act in effect these people couldn't get anything. Now people get recognized when the dog bite act come into effect. So the anti-gang legislation act that the cartel matter close up and formulate and brought before parliament and pass the legislation. This will make things much easier. And I hope the young people in Jamaica work Congasa, kangaroo and feel like they are mighty they are god themselves to put down violence to put down gang man to put down dan man supremacy to bring down things to a level where we can talk reason or argue about anything a pair of shoes transform into a gun and the man who brought him know that he was going to be beaten because this appears as if it was something that is a tradition. They have done it over and over again to Gaza Slim. All right, Mr. Hanlon. This is at least seven minutes worth of interview. So we have to cut this one short. Yes, people, people, people. See, who can hear most bumbo clad feel? Sometimes when we talk, that's why we have to listen. Remember I reported this JPS down by Elsha Road? Now that the storm has came, right? Somebody called me and said they must go and address it. We don't never address it. It pulled on another pole. See ya. You see me? So instead of it costing you just to change one pole, no, you got to fix two. And I heard these poles are probably $2,000 and change US, right? Plus that transformer is a lot of money. So this is very dangerous too, because now we got live lines right here. So of course, this can't turn on back. For now, we don't know here, brethren. A long time may I report this and tell them about this Ross pole. So no, please get the freaking pole fixed, right? As fast as possible because now we're out of light because of this and God knows when this all get fixed, brethren. And I've been telling them about this. Been fucking telling them about this. You see me? See fucking pole I'm telling them said they catch palm fire. If you look on my page, you know see me really report this months ago. And tell them about it and know that it fucking dropped. This shit could have dropped on somebody. You see me? Which is what I stated before. But you see when I talk nice, when I talk nice, nobody don't listen. Some people say, why you curse so much bad word? Listen, nobody in Jamaica don't listen unless you talk derogatory. For those that don't know what derogatory is, mean this. When a bumbo clot need to fix this pussy clot. And that people who are here in Jamaica because that's what them fucking pay attention to. Because when I make the nice videos, the ones that's cool and collective, talking like a normal individual, nobody listens.